Hi, I'm Adam Moody with Productivity Academy, and today I want to talk to you and show you how you can use a daily journal to really get the changes that you want to see, whether it's in your personal life, your professional life, or hopefully in both, because that's what will happen. So real quick, we're going to switch over in a second. I want to show you kind of over the shoulder using a real journal that I use on a daily basis, how you can do this. So we're going to go through, like I said, step by step and show you how you can do this. Now, I use one journal, but there's many journal products out there, so feel free to use whatever you want, even if it's just a blank sheet of paper. The important part is just to get started. So hang tight, and we're going to go and get started with the journal right now. Okay, so for this example, we're actually using the Best Self Journal. Uh, this is something that you can find on Amazon or on their online store. And what this does is it really helps you lay out uh, for you a lot of these uh, these journal ideas that you know you could do on your own. Uh, I personally have created my own journal. I went through several iterations. I used a bunch of different products, and eventually I tried making my own, incorporating what I thought was the best ideas, and that worked really well. And I would say that you know if that's the path you want to take, then by all means do it. It's more about trying uh, and doing than about getting it exactly right. Eventually, this particular journal was recommended to me by a business partner. I started using it and I've been using it for about 18 months now and I really like it. They've made some changes but that doesn't change that uh, the general idea stays the same. So let's kind of walk through how we're going to do this on a daily basis. What, uh, what works best to find is to start with the time tracking and over here you'll see a um, little you know, uh, clock icon meaning the time. So it starts at 6 a.m. goes to 9 p.m. I'm going to leave this up to you how you want to do this, but I've found that if you're not already doing some sort of time tracking, that this becomes incredibly important and you'll see some real results. And if you're already time tracking, this just kind of helps solidify the practice. Now, the second uh, reason that this works so well is that it also lets you see, okay, I've got the tasks I know I need to do today. Let's say you're looking at you know, whatever your to-do list app might be, or maybe you've got them written down on a sticky note or you've got leftovers from the day before. But as you go through here, you need to assign yourself an amount of time that each one's gonna take. So we might block this out and say, okay, from eight to nine, I'm going to record video. And the idea here is it starts to give you a better sense of how much time do I actually have to accomplish these tasks that I have. Is one, is it realistic? Um, am I gonna get things done? Do I need to, um, you know, what is it I need to do? And the idea behind this, again, is that you prioritize by saying what is the most important thing and usually stacking that uh, to do first. And you can also batch like tasks. Let's say I needed to record two videos. Well, then it makes sense to probably put these in the same time period since I would need the same things. I would need a camera. Um, you know, I might need some lights. I might need something else. So that's the idea. Once you start doing this, this uh, really kind of cascades into a lot of benefits for you. So. Uh, I will say that this can be a little bit, um, a little bit tough, and I find this hard to do, and it was hard, hard to get started. Uh, but the payoff is enormous, so I highly suggest doing this. If you don't want to do it down to the half hour, that's fine. If you don't want to do it at night, you know, it's more that you get started and you do this. Uh, this will really pay off uh, dividends for you. Over here, um, I like, really like having a notes and ideas area. This is maybe you could write notes if you've got, you know, record video. I might want to write some notes about what exactly I need to do or the process or some a reminder. Or just throughout the day, you may have things you need to scribble down. Down here at the bottom, we really like having uh, a kind of a little gratitude area. This morning, I am grateful for. And again, the reason to do this, there's lots. Uh, there's studies showing that you know, just getting in your mind and saying, what is it that I'm happy or grateful for today can have a positive benefit on the rest of your day. So starting that out and, you know, I'm not going to lie. Sometimes I literally write, I am thankful for coffee. Uh, but, you know, other times I put a little bit more thought into it. And, you know, I'm happy that, you know, I'm able to choose what I'm working on this morning. Um, I'm happy that, you know, I'm healthy today and, you know, my family is doing well. Things like that, things that I truly am happy for. And just getting into that mindset at the beginning of your day, it just helps you start off on the right foot. Now, over here on the right side, they have my goal, okay? And they have a nice little uh, handy thing that I use for both targets and goals. What will make today a win for me? Okay, and my goal, there should be one thing. Like sometimes I write a couple, but in general, you know, like what's the one thing? What is it that you want to do today? 
And this again is helping you focus, taking your goals from your tasks. What's it, what is the thing that you want to accomplish today? Okay, and this has again two benefits. One, it helps solidify, oh, this is what I need to do. And then two, it focuses you onto that one thing. If there's one thing you need to do today and one thing you want to accomplish, what is it? And if you start getting in the habit of writing that down and of getting that kind of out of your brain as a general vague idea and into something very specific, uh, that will definitely start to happen more for you. You're going to start seeing more traction. You're going to move projects forward. And then I like this today. Today's targets. Um, you could use this as breaking down the goal into three uh, targets, or you could use these differently. Typically, I'll have one or two related to my business or what I want to do. So today might be, let's say, record video, um, you know, uh, you know, read through a reader response and, and formulate plan to create content that they requested. And then number three, uh, go for a five mile run. Okay, I typically like to include something that's uh, not business. That's just me. I enjoy setting a, a target that uh, is, you know, physically active. Um, and then I really like this. I didn't do this with mine, and I really enjoy reading quotes occasionally. I don't need to have like a quote card on my desk or a big, you know, calendar. Uh, although this is just a nice addition. And then these areas right here, especially the lessons learned, I find to be incredibly important. I think this is something that uh, we, in general, I say we, meaning literally everyone we don't spend enough time on. And this isn't a time to be hard or hating on yourself. Uh, it's time to go back and ask yourself, hey, opportunities for improvement, what didn't work well today? Um, and the reason to do that is just say, you know, what didn't work well and then to go at least one level deeper and why, okay? So an example might be uh, lessons learned, uh, you know, recording a video took literally three times as long today as I thought it would. Okay, why? Uh, well, I didn't have things set up ahead of time. The batteries were dead, um, and you know I procrastinated because I was tired. Okay, well then I can fix that next time. I'll make sure that I have either maybe the camera on my desk so I know to charge the batteries, um, and I will set uh, time to record videos when I know I will be well rested. Something like that. The idea being just take that time. It, this could be 30 seconds, a minute, five minutes, to reflect on uh, where you can improve. And that time, again, is one of those that pays off uh, huge over time as you start making these really small improvements, right? Something like charging the batteries in a camera doesn't seem like a big deal, but it saves you from doing that again, which then saves you time, um, you know, over and over and over again. And then I believe this is also important too, your wins. What did you do well? You know, be honest with yourself and you don't need to be super humble, let yourself know that you did something good. You know, for myself, did I record that video? I did, you know, I, I made it happen, I recorded it, I'm happy I did it, and you know, I did a good job. Uh, maybe, you know, talked to a client, and you know, uh, went for a great run, even though at first I wasn't feeling like it, but you know, I feel great now. And then closing it out with a little bit of gratitude again, so same ideas in the morning, ending your day and, and instead of reflecting maybe on the things that didn't go well or some negative thoughts, saying, you know, what are you grateful for? Uh, because each of us has something at the end of the day. You know, we're going to bed. Are we literally happy that we have a, a you know, a roof over our heads, that we have, uh, you know, a bed or somewhere to sleep and, you know, that we're healthy and happy or that we just had a great day. So I think that tying all of this together is the key. Uh, each one of these parts is going to help you do a daily journal that's really going to help you, you grow, whether you're looking for it for personal reasons, for professional reasons. Um, and the truth is that this ends up helping you in all areas of your life. So really, I would get you know whatever journal su suits your purpose, whether it's a best self journal or something else, and start using this on a daily basis and even the weekends and even on vacation. You know, no one says you need to spend 30 minutes on this, but you know, think about it when you're, you know, on vacation or you're traveling, just spend a minute or two going through here. Hey, what, what is it that I really want to do with my day? What's the one thing I want to accomplish today? Do I want to, uh, you know, visit one area on vacation? Do I want to go out and meet two people? Things like that. And just being more aware of what it is you want to do and the things you're going to accomplish. So hopefully this was helpful for you. Again, I want to stress that it's not so much the journal that you use it's that you do this on a regular basis um, so please get started today you know you can do this on a blank piece of paper or just a notebook uh, get started and you're going to start seeing uh, changes very quickly